Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6 of Completionist Progress. I'm just, uh, worshipping some eggs and- OH! I just got evil chicken feet! Huh, but yeah, I'm just worshipping some eggs to, well, you know, the chicken gods who my pet beaver, who I decided to call Daggett, by the way. I wonder if anyone gets that reference. Probably some people. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm later to recording this episode than I planned. So, uh, I finished recording the last episode, like, I think it was around July 20th, like a day or two before this update came out. It's currently August 24th. So, yeah, it's been a month since I really, or I last recorded, and I haven't really played old school for that month either. I think what happened was I wasn't going to play until I started recording the episode so I didn't do stuff, you know, between episodes really. But the problem with that is I kind of delayed recording. And because of that, uh, yeah, <laughs> I just didn't play because I was forcing myself not to uh, play until I got done recording the start of this episode. So I missed a lot of stuff. And, uh, just to run through a few of the updates, uh, aside from the Woodcutting Guild Shrine here, Temple Trekking has, uh, a change to Lumber Track to make it easier, which, in my opinion, was actually kinda needed, cause, oh my god, I spent so long getting this set. And, uh, also, uh, you can choose the rewards, uh, there's the Elder Chaos Druid robes, Clues Girls now always have reward caskets, uh, there's some additions to the mystery boxes, and I did save a few, so maybe you could get something cool out of that. Uh, Xerox Talisman has a new teleport, there's a Ring of Wealth update, uh, Barbarian Assault improvements, and lots of other stuff, like, uh, the Skills Necklace has a teleport to the Woodcutting Guild, the Raids have new blogs, uh, there's a string, or a Flax to Bow string spell, and Last Man Standing, lots of other stuff that I really don't want to go into. But, uh, yeah, so, I missed a lot of stuff, and I'm kind of behind, because tomorrow is the construction update. I'm still only 82 construction. I want to try trading construction. I have a whole bunch of planks in my bank for the update. And uh, I just never got to training it because I was planning to start this episode sooner and have a whole month worth to trade it. But, well, so just to kind of run through my plans for this episode and probably next episode as well. And one, I can't believe I got these because these are like 1 in 300. I don't know. I don't think they're worth too much. But... Yeah, they're pretty rare. And uh, bird's eggs are actually worth getting now because you get the uh, nest from when you get the egg and then you get a nest with seeds. So it's kind of like getting a seed nest with a bonus nest and the free Xperia experience. And a chance at something really rare, so yeah. But uh, let's see. Uh, here it is. I have a whole bunch of planks that I need to train to get nine construction so I can boost for the tree ring or the ring tree for the garden thing. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, pretty much my plans for this episode. I do still need arc light for, uh, this master clue. And there's the boxes. I want to save them, though, because you can get clues from them. So I'd rather try and hand in my clues and then open them if I can, if I get another relief anyway. So, I need arc light for the master clue. I need construction for the new rooms. I need barbarian assault for the torso and diary. And, uh... Uh, the Rogue's Den. There's an update coming out that's gonna make the Rogue's Den, or the Rogue Armor, good for pickpocketing, and I usually train thieving with, uh, RD Knight, so I wanna try getting that. I also wanna hold off on rune crafting and thieving, cause skilling pets for both of them recently passed, so, yeah, I kinda wanna wait till the pets are out. And, uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to start working on the catacombs, or Arclay in the catacombs. I'm probably gonna kill, like, Hill Giants or something to try and work towards the Champion Scrolls, though, cause... I really don't have much else to kill there. So, uh, yeah. Well, that didn't take long, but I have my first ancient shard here. I almost didn't notice it. Kind of wish I had overlays for this. But, uh, yeah, I'm killing hill giants just north of where you enter. I was gonna record entering for the first time, but it, there really was nothing special. And also, I'm using, uh, the Ring of Wealth from the new update. So, uh, yeah, it automatically picks up coins now, and also, uh, gives uh, a lot better chance of, uh, rail drop table stuff, or removes a lot more than nothing drops on there. But, uh, yeah, one of, uh, three ancient shards I need for Arclight. And, um, actually, this started with, uh, just over a thousand charges, and according to my math, I should get a shard every 310 kills average, so hopefully by the time I'm done with this Bone Crusher, I'll have all three shards. So, uh, yeah. So I just finished up the last inventory, banked, and came back, and, uh, another ancient shard on my first kill. Just a few kills from the last one. Huh. This might be quicker than I thought. And that is all three shards needed to make Arclight. I decided not to record a clip of the final shard because it was the same as the other ones, and I think I use it here. Uh, combined to make... There we go. So we have that, and I also have, uh, the... 
uh, clue here, so we can do that right now as well. Uh, let's see, it's slap head, expect you to die, protect from melee. Oh. I think I messed up. <laughs> I think I was supposed to take the amulet off. Whoops. Uh, hopefully that's not a problem for doing the clue. But, uh, yeah, it only took a few more kills. As you see there, my Bone Crusher went down to uh, 650. I forgot to check the exact amount, though, when I got the final shard, but it didn't take very long at all. I think I did get pretty lucky. And let's just hope I don't need to buy a new Amulet of the Dam, because th that would be unfortunate. Really unfortunate. I <laughs> don't oh, know. I remembered I had to take it off, but I forgot to do it at the moment. Oh, good, it works still. And... Now we have a core in it, so, uh, yeah, I'll do the, go do that in a minute. Don't you just love it when you combine three pieces of paper into a treasure chest? But, uh, yeah, here is the, uh, uh Master Clue reward. Well, yeah, nothing special, not horrible, but nothing special. Oh well, but that's the second Master Clue done, and, uh, I guess now I need to work on something like construction, huh? Well, the construction update did come out today, along with a few other updates like uh, the teleport perk to the music cape, which I still need to get back. I don't think I have the Last Man Standing track. Maybe some others I missed too. As well as a buff to the Ring of the Gods, uh, the Ring of Suffering gets really cool effect, and uh, some new stuff with the Shiloh uh, Gem Rocks. So I haven't checked that out yet, actually. But I have been doing some construction, and uh, I got to level 83. Still a ways to go, but making progress anyway, and that's what counts, right? But I think my goal for this episode is to get to level 85, because from 85, I should easily be able to boost most things I want in the new rooms. I think the only thing I really need to get higher level 4 is, uh, the, um, the Fairy Ring Spirit Tree. I know that needs 90 of a stew boost. But I think from 85, I should be able to boost most things, including the highest level of the new jewelry box. So, uh, yeah, but aside from that, I have been uh, working on planning out my house with the new uh, menu here to uh, move it around and such. And uh, it's actually been pretty tricky because I have I like to do a special type of house. I'll show you more later once I get 85 and actually start building the stuff. But I think I settle on design. So, uh, yeah, but I still have a lot of planks to go, if you look here, um, pretty much all of them. But you might also be wondering, uh, where I got this 18 mil cash stack, because I kind of had that since I started this episode. But a few days before I started the progress video, I kind of got back on old school, just kind of readjust to the game and just look over things, update my notes and such. And I went through my bank and I sold a bunch of stuff, like I had a whole bunch of grimy herbs and I sold them all that I was saving from Kingdom, and just a bunch of stuff I don't need or have no plans to really use and just was piling up. So I sold that all and ended up getting 18 mil. And uh, I also have these ores here, I did price check, that's like 10 mil worth, but I plan to use them smithing later for 99 smithing. But there's some other stuff I could sell, like I've been saving up the mole and, or the mole parts and KBD hides or hides from KBT as I go for the pets there. But, uh, yeah, as I was looking over stuff, though, I realized there really isn't that much I'm missing. Like, I always kind of felt I was lacking on gear because I didn't have, like, Bandos and Armadale. But when I really look at it, I have a lot of the key gear, and considering I already have 18 mil and most of the gear costs, like, 20 mil or less, yeah, I, I can probably get a lot of the gear if I just kind of apply myself a bit more. And uh, once the runecrafting pet does come out, I really want to grind runecrafting and try and get a whole bunch of the gear I need, like bandos and such. So, uh, I don't know, it kind of made me realize that the end game in old school is a lot easier in a sense, because it's just, I don't know, I guess it's a lot cheaper than I was expecting. Just because, you know, like bandos and stuff, it isn't that costly, at least if I have 18 mil lying around, I can make, you know, a good 1.5 mil an hour or such. But uh, another reason I want to mention this now is because I wanted to buy an item. So I've been debating over it, but I think I do want... I cannot spell it. That took a lot longer than it should have. But a necklace of anguish. So recently a lot of the prices have been down. I heard it was because, you know, end of summer sort of thing. Oh, not that much. But uh, I think it should buy for this much. There we go. And the reason I want this is, one, it will help with ranged training. Now, even if I do chins, I heard one of the new chin spots doesn't work for the salve. And this amulet, uh, well, I don't want to put it on there. Uh, this amulet, I think if I take this off, I should have zero. It has range strength, which no other range here gives, really. 
besides weapons usually. So it's going to be a pretty big help for range training and also doing the fight case as well or just slayer tasks. I also was considering an Arbordale top because that's also down a good bit. It was like 20 mil and now it's like 17 mil. But I think this is probably a nice uh, choice and it's my first piece of Zenite jewelry. And the other reason I really wanted range strength is because when you have a weapon like the blowpipe which hits faster, having a plus 5 strength is a lot more beneficial then than compared to say like a crossbow. So... I don't know, it just seemed like a good purchase for now. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to construction, though, and, uh, this is not gonna be a fun grind to 85. Well, that didn't take too long. Uh, I just got the big swordfish. So, uh, yeah, I kinda just been a AFK fishing, uh, well, swordfish and tuna for a bit, because, uh, I, I haven't been ready to do construction yet. But, uh, yeah, there's the big swordfish, and, uh, let's see... Yeah, I didn't have to fish that many at all. I think that's one in 3k, so I think I got a bit lucky there, which kind of makes up for the big bass. But, uh, I also do have another thing to mention. Uh, there it is. I got my first shield left half. So, what I did was, after the last clip, I took, uh, the Necklace of Anguish al along with the blowpipe and tested out Elder Chaos Druids. And I did also look it up. The salve does not work on Manacle Monkeys. Originally, they looked like zombie monkeys. But, uh, since then, they have been graphically updated, and now they don't look like zombies. So, yeah, Necklace of Anguish is good for chinning in the new location. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, apparently, the new Ring of Wealth works, uh, pretty well. It further reduces the nothing drops on the rare drop table, so you can more easily get drops like Shield Half now. So, I got my first Shield Half in old school, anyway, at Elder Chaos Druids the other day. But, unfortunately, I got pk shortly after. But the nice thing is, uh, after I died, I ran back to getting in untradeables. The PKers were still there, and uh, I mentioned about the shield half where they commented, and I asked if I could buy it back, and they were like, sure. So I paid 100k for it, which is overpriced, but, you know, it's kind of a sentimental thing just to have the shield half that I got. And it was nice of them to actually, you know, be willing to trade back instead of just, you know, trash talking stuff. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, I really do need to get to construction, though. So, I guess I don't have much other excuses now. Well, when I actually sat down in a uh, train construction, it actually wasn't that bad of a grind, but there we go. Level 85, that allows me to build a lot, but more importantly, now I can boost to a lot of the stuff I need, like the uh, altar that does all the spell books, the highest tier pool with just a crystal soul and uh, stew. I already could do that, but I think it was 91 I need for the jewelry box, but uh, I don't have a lot of a uh, cash stack left to uh, build all the stuff, but uh, yeah, now I'm going to start working on or working on building all the rooms or filling in all the rooms, upgrading all the stuff, and then I'll come back with a house tour. Well, something I probably should uh, touch on before the episode ends is that uh, at the end of last episode, I was 88 woodcutting, and I'm already 89 and have been 89 since the start of this episode, and I'm about to hit 90, which will be nice since I won't need to boost if I get the redwood clue, even though I could use the special attack on this. Now I won't need to boost and actually can uh, start cutting redwoods if I want to. Although the winter tod actually just came out today, so uh, I think redwoods might not be as useful for uh, wood cutting or fire making now, so. Might not be as profitable now, but, uh, yeah, there is 90 woodcutting at last. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably, uh, train fire making at the Winter Todd in the next episode, though. But, uh, yeah, let me, uh, head to the house now and show you that and what I've done there. You know, I just realized that I started, like, half the clips in this episode with Will, so I'm not gonna do that for this one. But, uh, yeah, here is my house. It is not finished yet. I kind of ran out of money to do some of the things I wanted to do. Like, uh, if you look over here, I would like to get a gilded altar, and I didn't get the spellbook swapping altar, or, like, uh, there's a couple other things. Uh, the cave rack, we needed a gold leaf. Uh, there's the quest list for one of these walls, we needed a gold leaf, and the altar just needed a ton of astral runes, and I actually couldn't afford the astral runes or, uh, the magic stone for it. But, yeah, this is just my house layout, just to, uh, kind of show you you how it looks um i might add fences here but it's actually quicker to reach the pool if i don't have a fence if i just want to you know drink from this side so i'm not sure if i'm gonna put the fences just for cosmetics or not it only takes a or would be like a second slower so i don't know it's not that big of a deal but uh yeah i did uh greatly renovate my house and where all the rooms go and such and uh pretty much i tried to shrink it down so it wasn't too large actually uh, let me just uh, go over here and hop into build mode so i can show you from the viewer because uh, you could probably get a better scale of how i have it laid out there so i have it as a five by three because pretty much if i just had like one room right here 
Despite only being one more room, it would load this entire row and then my house would take longer to load. So I tried to shrink down every floor as much as I could. See, see this is a 4x2, upstairs is a 2x3. And uh, yeah, so that was kind of my goal with this. And I like to do the thing where you can't exit. There's no doors to the outside anywhere in my house. And it's a very hard design to do, mainly because there's not a lot of corner rooms, on, or sadly. Like, I really wish the Achievement Galley was a corner room, or it could have helped me a bit with how I like to do it. And I also don't want to be too restricted, like, I want you to be able to walk through the place easily enough. So, this is kind of what I came up with, and, uh, I don't know, let's just leave Build Mode on for the moment. So, if you come over here, I have, uh, the throne room, and down below it, I have the little dungeon obelisk. I actually have no idea how to pronounce this room, but I did uh, add the flame pit here in the cage, and there's some other stuff I can add later. I actually don't have high enough level to uh, build this stuff yet how I'd want. You need a uh, 94, so uh, I will be getting 90 later on, and uh, I mainly will need 90 for uh, this thing, the natural teleport. I didn't want to build it just because I don't think this is an upgrade, and I want to go straight for that one, but I need to get 90 and then boost of a stew for it. So, uh, I have the, uh, combat room right next to this room because you'll want the rejuvenation for the combat ring if you're just playing around with friends or such. I don't know, usually I don't have anyone over often, but it seems like worthwhile in the whole design thing. Now, I moved the portal rooms up here and they're kind of out of the way, but I just didn't have anywhere else to put them and they're kind of needed to, uh, make, uh, or block off the entrance there because, like I said, there's not a lot of corner rooms and, I don't know, it's not that far from the portal still. I don't really use these portals too often anyway. So, it should still be convenient enough, and I have, uh, pretty much this goes to all the west teleports, Camelot, Artie, and, uh, Falador, while this goes to the, uh, east, uh, Varrock, uh, Can Canifis, and Lumbridge. Then I have my lecterns. Uh, this room has, I think, the teleport tablets, and has the astronomical charts. Then for this one, it has the demon one for, uh, the bones to peaches, and has the infernal charts. So, I don't know, I just kind of like making the rooms different, not just the same room. And if down here I had the workshop, just because it worked here and still kind of close to repairing. And originally I did have the portal rooms down here. I think it was like, uh, yeah, I think I had it where there was another, or maybe, yeah, I think I had the skill hall down here, or the quest hall down here. Then the costume room was here and the portal rooms on the side. But I decided to uh, move the kitchen and dining room from the upstairs down here and put the portal rooms where they were and change it around a little. So this is just kind of... I don't know, it's not really needed, but it's just to kind of round off the bottom of the house so it's square. And I can't use any of these doors, sadly, because it doesn't have an opening. But over here I have the altar right next to the pool where I need to train prayer. This is still pretty close if I need to uh, use the teleports in the jewelry box, which is the highest tier of all these teleports. And, uh... Yeah, I'll need to fill that altar soon and try and get some jars. Costumes down here, I kind of like it following the achievement galley because the costume is kind of about achievements to me anyway. So, yep, and I still need to get the upgrade to K-Prac, but aside from that, oops, aside from that, uh, yeah. And that's about it. Here is a quest hall, and I might remove this and put another skill hall here, but I'm unsure if I want to do that yet. Because the thing is, you can't move just one of these rooms. Because if I try to move this room, it's going to move the skill hole down here and the skill hole above it as well. And pretty much my idea was having three skill halls and then they'd have each of the heads and each of the fish going up. So it's like the bottom had the bass, middle swordfish, shark up here. Similar thing, I think like KBD head in the bottom, abyssal in the middle four, and then cow fight queen up here. But until I decide where I want to do that or if I'm confident I want to, I can't build it, because as soon as I put a head or fish in a skill hole here, I will not be able to change my mind and move them around. I have to delete this room. So, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. But at the moment, I kind of like having the glory here, just because it's quicker to use this glory than that one. And... Ah, oh, no, I don't really need the other skill hall yet anyway. But yeah, up here I have the bedrooms. Uh, I have a games room, just because. I have another quest hall, just because... If I was to remove the other quest on now that I don't really need its glory, I thought it'd be nice just to have another one just for showing off stuff, like how, actually having a Legendscape mail. Where, how often do you see that? You know, I like the Legendscape. So it's cool to actually have that. And then I have uh, my menagerie over here with not much at the beavers in my house. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, oh, there's one other thing to mention. Uh, there's actually a poll that came out today along with the Winter Todd for another, or er, additions to the portal room. Now, because my portal room's up there and I can't put any more portals in them that I'm aware, uh, I'll need to make a new portal room. And after kind of looking over and figuring how I could fit a new portal room in, I've decided I'll probably just put it here. Just because, uh, let me just uh, pull up the viewer again. 
Uh, if I put it here, it won't increase the width at all, like right here, because it will still be a four or two by four. And I don't know, it's a bit out of the way. It would be nice to keep all the portals together, but I don't really use the portals that often. And the new portals are, uh, let me actually look real quick. I have notes. Uh, Lunar Isle, Dig Site, uh, Demonic Ruins, Waterbirth, Fishing Guild, Apatol, and Corind. So I'd probably make uh, portals for Lunar Isle, Demonic Ruins, and uh, Corind. Maybe Waterbirth instead of Corind. I'm not sure. Or even instead of Lunar Isle. Because the Spellbook Ultra kind of ruins the need for Lunar Isle, in my opinion. I don't know. I can always move rooms around with the viewer, too. So if I find a better layout, I can always change it. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think this has been enough rambling about my house design and all that. But, I don't know. It works nice. Everything's close enough to the portal still. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Completionist Progress. Hopefully in the coming episodes, I will be able to get a bit more money to finish up the house and some of this stuff. Uh, I do plan to get back to runecrafting now the pets are out. And uh, runecrafting should help me get the money I need for this. So, uh, yeah. So, hopefully you all enjoyed. And uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, goodbye.